Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and first of all sorry for the sound quality but I'm recording here outside and I'm actually using my, my small Rode microphone in the camera uh, and we have a bit of wind, uh, we have, well, sounds from the sawmill, I believe that's how it's said in English but anyway since it is a very good day and I'm recording outside well the sound quality won't be as good I'm working on actually getting a, a better microphone to record outside in some scenarios but that will come in the future and as for today's video we have the review of the 24.2.1 drivers from AMD and as I say in all my videos 24 is the year 2024 2 is the month February and 1 is the revision in that same month this the first revision of February in this case we have beta drivers so the WHQL drivers weren't released yet and it feels like it was a lifetime ago uh, since we got the the earlier drivers or since we got the new driver version and now we have the 24.2.1 but still beta not the WHQL and although this version doesn't really bring anything new per se it does bring lots lots of fixed issues from issues that were appearing on the 24.1.1 this one that you're seeing right now with that space and some other yay games performing like crap especially when loading shaders they were stuttering immensely and they were next to unplayable with the 24.1.1 drivers while with the 24.2.1 drivers this was fixed gladly otherwise people would have to go back to the 23.12.1 or 23.11.1 uh, but with these ones it got fixed and went into this that you're seeing right now in the screen uh, where for example that space that space stutters of course because the game all, always stuttered but it is now playable unlike with the previous version that was just a stutter fest and it was just unplayable so they fixed this and they fixed a lot of other things so that's great but well as always let's start with the release notes and then we'll go into the things that i found just like i found today's sponsor today's video sponsor is gvg more bringing you all the software deals you need like windows 10 windows 11 office 2021 with a new windows 11 design and even windows server 2022 for all of these you can use my skg discount code for 25 percent off getting a windows 10 serial key for only 16 dollars then use the key on your windows settings and you'll have an activated system so these drivers are special drivers for hell divers it seems amd uh, refers to the to these drivers as amd software adrenaline edition 24.2.1 for hell divers to release notes starting with new features highlight with new game support for skull and bones and nightingale and it is actually interesting because these drivers are for hell divers too but at the same time they all they just bring support for skull and bones and nightingale which is which is odd to say the least but anyway as for the fixed issues finally we do have lots of them and this is the good part of these drivers and starting with improvements to intermittent driver timeout or application crash while playing hell divers 2 intermittent application crash when first launching and shrouded or changing anti-aliasing settings on the radian 7000 series graphics products um, a bug that some people were reporting when playing in Shrouded, which is a very good thing that it is fixed now. The third one is intermittent driver timeout or application crash may be considered while playing Counter-Strike 2 with FSR enabled on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 7900XTX. Improvements to excessive stutter while playing various games including Battlefield 2042, Destiny 2, Overwatch 2, Monster Hunter World, PUBG Battlegrounds and Star Wars Battlefront 2. Funny enough, when I was playing uh, with, um, with the past drivers, the 24.1.1, I tested lots of games, lots. I tested Overwatch 2, I tested uh, PUBG, I tested, no I didn't really test Star Wars Battlefront 2, but I tested the Jedi Survivor and in all these scenarios with several cards the 24.1.1 worked well for me but there were two games that were nearly unplayable once again with the 24.1.1 with almost any card and they were Dead Space Remake and Battlefield 2042 so apart from that everything was great uh, but it with these drivers it is even better so they kind of fixed the shader loading cache problems 
uh, or issues that they presented with the previous ones, which is a win-win situation. Finally, finally a driver with officially AFMF implementation and other things that doesn't have shader cache issues. That loop may experience extended loading times on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6900 XT. That space may experience an application crash after enabling RTAO on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6800 non XT. Shadows may appear bright or reflections may be missing while playing in shrouded on Raiden 7000 series graphics products. Another issue that has been fixed gladly. HDR settings may intermittently fail to take effect on playing certain games such as Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Graphics API metric system may be incorrectly reported as DirectX 12 for some Vulkan games, and that's a new one. Uh, gladly, gladly it is fixed, gladly. After a system reboot, Parsec host application may experience a crash on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 7900 XTX. During Microsoft Teams meeting, the camera may intermittently display loops footage on some AMD graphics products, such as the Ryzen 7 7840U processor. The camera might show looped footage. Well, <laughs> I wouldn't consider this, uh, th this an issue. This should be a, a feature. <laughs> if you want to loop your image for a, a certain amount of time when you are doing the Microsoft Teams meeting, I would just implement the bug and call it a feature. <laughs> Oculus Rift S may display with a green tint on AMD Raiden 7000 series GPUs, also fixed, thank god. AFMF may be inaccurately displayed on some hybrid graphics configurations, particularly in systems where one of the devices lacks support for AFMF. AFMF must be supported on the displaying GPU to be activated. And as you saw, there are lots and lots of fixed issues and we have some more things here and there, but usually there are m way more fixed issues compared to the 24.1.1 that for me was, al was already a very good version. But with these, even on beta, we have lots of fixed issues for some people that were having issues uh, with other things in particular. So it is nice. But as always, there's also known issues as well. Application crash or driver timeout may be observed while playing StarCraft 2 on Raiden 7000 series GPUs. Intermittent driver timeout or application crash may be experienced after playing a mission and changing the in-game resolution while playing Helldivers 2. And once again, this is a really, really annoying issue because people just changing resolution inside the game. For example, benchmarkers like me that just want to... The carro <laughs> Benchmarkers like me that just want to test products uh, and they change resolution a lot uh, inside the, the game, <laughs> the game menu might have lots of crashes with some AMD products, which is a bummer. I didn't even test the game, so I don't really know, but it seems, once again, it seems that this is in fact an issue. World of Warcraft may experience extended initial loading times with DirectX 12 API on some AMD graphics products such as the Raiden RX 6800 non-XT. Shader caching may fail for Windows usernames containing accented characters. FPS performance metric may incorrectly report values while a game is minimized. Resolution targeted for the 24.3.1 as well. AMD Smart Access Video may be incorrectly reported as available on some systems with a Parsec Virtual Display Driver installed. Something that happened before, for sure. Performance drop may be observed while using some direct ML workloads in Topaz AI. Something that I believe it was something that I believe was fixed before, but now it is once again on the known issues, I might be wrong, but I believe that I saw this before on the fixed ones. Maybe they, well, they had problems with the uh, recent drivers once again. And the last one is audio and video may intermittently become out of sync while recording using the AV1 codec in AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Resolution targeted for quarter two. In quarter two, so like two months from now on. And this is insane just to fix an issue with a uh, out of sync that's just insane. But I do believe that they have bigger issues to work with first, uh, as this isn't really a thing that's happening for most people, at least for me it isn't so. Um, and you can always use AGVC, for example, so it is not a must per se, but it is definitely annoying and should be fixed ASAP because this has been uh, an issue for quite some time, but at least they are now targeting the resolution for the quarter two. Let's hope it actually works that way. As for the important notes, we also have the second one, which might be of some uh, of someone's interest, 
which is some per game graphics profiles may have incorrectly been set to HyperRX Echo after a driver upgrade. Users experiencing this issue may use the factory reset option to return all profiles to default. And I once again advised it you, but if you won't, you can just do a clean installation via the AMD software Adrenaline Edition. That just works the same way or almost the same way. Now, as for the things that I found with these drivers, I tested these drivers in a few cards and they were fine. But let's start, for example, with the good things. With the 7600 XT, I found that we have more GPU power and less CPU power draw. So, more GPU power draw, less CPU power draw, and at the same time, we have less CPU temps, lower CPU temperatures, because once again, we have lower power draw on the CPU as well. And we have the same FPS. So basically we have slightly higher power usage or power draw on the 7600 XT. These are basically the second drivers for the 7600 XT. That's why this is happening. They are still tweaking or fiddling with the 7600 XT, I believe. As for the 6650 XT that I also tested, it kind of varies because, for example, what I could find in Modern Warfare 2 was that, and you will be able to see as well, is that we have more CPU power draw, which is the opposite of what we had with the 7600 XT, more CPU power draw, but at the same time we have more FPS, a bit more FPS, more stable as well, compared to the 24.1.1. Now it's my dog. First it was my cat, now it's my dog. What I did find once again is that the, sh the shader cache loading is, is much better now. As you can see, previously the playing that space with the 24.1.1 was just unbearable, it was easily unplayable. Now it's a car. That's that's the downside of recording, uh, of recording here outside. Um, but yeah, basically it was unplayable before with a 24.1.1, and it is now playable again with a 24.2.1 since they fixed the shader cache loading issues. And if you are playing Battlefield a lot or Dead Space a lot, or you, if the the game was crashing a lot for you, stuttering a lot for you before, like Overwatch 2, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know if the 24.2.1 drivers actually fixed your issue or not. Lots of cars passing right now. Oh, it's the police. It's the police there. Mm, that's all. The police doesn't come here um, frequently, so that's all. They must be looking for someone. <laughs> one thing that I found, one issue, the only issue that I found with these drivers is an HDR issue. I believe it's an HDR issue. Um, and it's mainly for Microsoft Edge and some other browsers, but mainly for Microsoft Edge. It doesn't happen on Opera and it doesn't happen as well with uh, with Firefox, but it does happen on Edge. As soon as I enter the, the Windows, I go to Microsoft Edge, the main browser that I use right now. And what will happen is that we have a color shifting, something like when enabling the the HDR on SDR content, for example, it gets kind of too, too bright, like excessive exposure. Uh, and it happens, I need to go to Windows, disable the HDR and enable it once again, and then it will work fine. But I need to do this every time I connect my monitor or I restart my computer. And this is a problem that I found with 24.2.2. And well, guys, that's basically my experience. So we have an issue, a big issue, but we have lots of fixed issues on the other hand. So um, the hand of the fixed issues is actually way better, way heavier than the hand of the known issues, which is a good thing. And the real issues that I found in my daily usage was actually that one, the HDR on the Microsoft Edge issue. Uh, that sincerely never, I never had that before. That's the first, the first time that I have this. Um, but as soon as I enable and disable HDR once again, it just, it is just fixed. I believe it is due to the drivers because with the previous ones I did not have this issue. So, yeah. But still, the drivers work fine. Performance is okay. Shader cache loading is finally working once again and we have all the features that we had with the 24.1.1. So this is basically a 24.1.1 improved. Nothing new, just lots of fixed issues. And well, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. Leave your comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about these drivers. What's your experience with these drivers? If they work fine, if they don't, uh, if you, well, if you had more issues then fix the issues uh, if these drivers are much better for you than the 24.1.1 or if they are in fact uh, even worse because sometimes that happens different users have different different experiences we have so many different combinations once again so many processors so many gpus so many motherboards that 
sometimes some users have issues some others don't have any issues at all with almost the same configuration but one part changes it uh, and it may affect the system I, I don't even know how to say it but there are some really odd issues in tech and they happen all the time most times the material uh, isn't the problem the user is but sometimes the hardware is indeed uh, or the software is indeed the issue so that's what I like about tech actually it's interesting and once again thank you very much for watching leave your comment in the comment section with your experience and see you in the next video guys cheers